If you're thinking about moving to Houston, Texas, anytime this year, this video is for you. See, I have my computer pulled up here. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you a high level overview of the Houston area because you're probably asking yourself the question, where do I even start? See, Houston is a massive metroplex and a lot of people get confused when they start looking because a lot of people looking to move here for all the things that Houston have to offer often find themselves actually looking outside of the city. They're actually looking at the suburbs. And I'm actually going to highlight the suburbs that I would be looking at if I were you. See, in 2023, we had over 1,200 people reach out to our team through YouTube alone. And out of those people, we were actually able to sell $83 million worth of real estate. Yes, that blows my mind to people just like you that are looking to relocate here to the Houston area. So if that is you, I can tell you right now, you're in good hands and you're gonna wanna check this out and stick around because in this video, I'm gonna show you where I live. I'm gonna tell you where I think you should consider personally, but at the end of the day, our goal here is to help you find the perfect place for you and your family. And that can look different for everyone. And so by the end of this video, you're gonna have a really good idea of how Houston's laid out. That way you can plan your trip, come visit with our team and go ahead and start narrowing down exactly where it is you want to live for your move this upcoming year. So let's dive in. So as you can see, we actually have a map of Houston pulled up. We're just here on Google Maps, nothing fancy. But as I zoom in, one thing you'll notice about Houston is it's actually got a lot of loops around it. So starting on the inner part, you've got this 610. This is called the inner loop because it is the inner loop. Um, and this is where downtown's gonna be. Most of the growth that we're seeing through YouTube and from the videos that we make is gonna be actually all the way out here. So you have three loops running around Houston. You've got the 610. Then you've got Beltway 8, which is a toll road. Um, that's gonna be what used to be the outer loop. But now we have this new toll road. It's called Highway 99. It opened a couple years ago. And this is truly where all of the growth is happening. And so if you're looking to relocate to the Houston area and you wanna be maybe within 45 minutes, some 30 minutes of Houston, maybe you've got a commute, but maybe you don't. And you really want that suburban lifestyle. You want those master plan communities, which we feature in a ton of our videos. In fact, that's probably what we specialize in most is helping you buy these new construction or resale homes in these robust neighborhoods that have the pools, the parks, the water slides, the schools inside of the neighborhood, splash pads, you name it. That's really what's attracting a lot of people like you that are watching our videos to come to the Houston area. And the majority of those are gonna be found right here on the outskirts of Houston. But just to break it down for you, um, I wanna hit the major roads. So. Essentially, I view Houston as a big bullseye. And so you've got a plus sign running through it. So I-45 is this major freeway that actually runs north to south and it actually cuts down over towards Galveston. And so this is the freeway that runs all the way from Galveston all the way up to Dallas, actually. If you were to zoom out, it actually takes you all the way up here to Dallas. But zooming back in, the other major freeway running through Houston is I-10. This is the road that actually connects San Diego all the way to Florida. It's a massive freeway. I think it's the largest in the country. Um, and so those are your two major freeways, but you also have all of these kind of, you know, north, south, east, west uh, highways, you know, kind of running out in between. And so the main thing is if you do have a commute into Houston, understand the freeways, understand what you're working with, know whether or not you've got two routes to take versus one, because, um, commuting in and out of Houston, if you are out all the way here in the suburbs can be a little bit of a pain. So if I were you and I were looking to move here to the Houston area, I would start uh, on the outskirts. I would start, you know, if you wanna work your way all the way around the city, uh, you could go League City, Pearland, coming over here, you've got Siena, which isn't really a, a city. It's actually a large master planned community, which is amazing. We've got a video on Siena. So be sure to check that out. And you should work your way on around the town. Uh, Sugarland is well known for being one of Houston's hottest suburbs. There's not a lot of new construction there anymore. Um, but if you're looking for a resale home in a nice area with great schools, um, it's actually gonna have closer proximity into downtown. So one thing that I'll, I'll give you a little tidbit here. If proximity to downtown is important to you, there is about a 15 or 20 minute difference from living on these southern suburbs versus living on these northern suburbs. If you see here, Pearland is probably the closest suburb into Houston. From here, you're about a 20 minute drive into downtown and it doesn't get much better than that. You also have this 288, which is a tollway. And so you're gonna be able to shoot in and out of downtown a lot faster than if you were to live over on the north side. Now. 
to flip the script on you, one of the perks of living up over here on the north side of Houston is gonna be the trees. And so I will just kind of highlight for you what that looks like. I'm gonna switch over to this map. And what you'll notice is, look how green this whole north side is compared to down here. And it, and it really starts where in between Cyprus and Tomball. When you're over in Cyprus and you're looking at master plan communities or some of the bigger neighborhoods like Town Lake, which is an amazing one developed by Caldwell with great shopping, or Bridgeland, which is actually developed by the same developer that developed the Woodlands, which is Howard Hughes. These are some of the, the big ones that you're gonna wanna look in Cyprus, and Cyprus is amazing. But the geography change between Cyprus and Tomball alone, right along here, uh, is very drastic. This area is significantly prettier than what you're gonna see over in the Cyprus area. When you get over here to the west side of Houston, a couple things it's got going for it. It's got phenomenal schools. Uh, Cypress Fairbanks ISD and Katy ISD are two of the best school districts. And if you're anywhere in any of these, uh, you're in great shape. And so a lot of people move over here for the schools. You've got a lot of new construction opportunity over here as well, where you can get affordable homes uh, in master plan communities and you're not gonna break the bank. But the one thing it doesn't have are the same trees. Now, Cinco Ranch is gonna be a more established master plan community with homes going back 20, 30 years. Because of this, the trees that they planted 20 or 30 years ago are oak trees in the front yards of these homes, and they're actually very pretty. It's actually more established than most neighborhoods in the Houston suburbs, but it's nothing like the pine trees that the north side has to offer. In fact, if you go even further north, you'll notice right here, you've got the Sam Houston National Forest, and the Sam Houston National Forest is absolutely gorgeous. Here's a photo as an example, but it's got tons of gorgeous pine trees, hiking trails, uh, and, and quite literally, it's just woods. It's uh, well over 100,000 acres worth of national forest, which is crazy. And so if you're looking for those trees, you're gonna really wanna focus up here on the north side. Pretty much, here's the cutoff as I showed you between Tomball and Cypress, and it's gonna work its way all the way over here east of I-45, and we're actually seeing a ton of new development over here along Highway 69. Here, if you're local, we call it Highway 59. Um, but once it became an official interstate, they switched it over to 69. So you're actually seeing a lot of growth along this major artery. One of the older, more established communities um, that you're gonna see is gonna be Kingwood. But, uh, but since Kingwood's been developed, Kingwood's right over here along Lake Houston, um, there's actually a lot of growth with new construction pushing its way on up north. So New Caney, we're seeing a whole lot of development. Over in Porter, we're seeing a whole lot of development. Uh, one neighborhood that I absolutely love that's kind of equidistant between the Woodlands and New Caney is the Highlands. It's right over here. And uh, it's got a brand new 18 hole golf course with zoysia greens. It's really nice. Once again, this Highway 99 is where all of the growth is happening. There's another massive set of communities right on 99 and I-45 uh, that we show you. We've got a video on Woodson's Reserve, which is a great one. The Meadows at Imperial Oaks. Diving back into the map, um, it may sound scattered. I'm just trying to give you a high level overview of what's going on here in Houston. So back to trees. If you want the trees, you're gonna need to be on the north side. Now, let's flip the script. Some people moving to Houston, they want that close proximity down here over to the ocean. And if you're wondering what a commute actually looks like from downtown Houston over to Galveston Island, let me just go ahead and show you because I think you'll be surprised at how close the coast can actually be. So it's less than an hour from downtown. Now, if you actually live over here in Pearland, for example, your commute down over to Galveston is about a 45 minute commute and that's all the way into downtown. You can actually be on the, downtown Galveston, you can actually be on the island in a shorter period of time. So yeah, 45 minutes from Pearland. But if you are living up here on the north side, for example, pretty far north, like I live here in Conroe, you're about an hour and a half. So the difference between just hopping in the car with the little kids and getting down to the beach in 45 minutes versus an hour and 45 minutes, there is a big difference there. And so if you want that close proximity to the coast, then you're probably gonna wanna be somewhere anywhere between Sugarland, Pearland, in League City, Friendswood, stuff like that. Those are gonna be some of your best options. Now, you're actually seeing some development push even further out. You've got some really good communities uh, popping up over here in Alvin and Manville. One of them is called Pomona. It's a great master plan community down here. Um, and then as I mentioned, Siena is massive. It's got some, it's got more homes than most master plan communities in Houston. Fantastic amenities. 
And so I call these Houston suburbs. People in the comments love to be keyboard warriors and tell me that these aren't suburbs. Call them what you will. Call them surrounding cities if that makes you feel better about yourself. But at the end of the day, I just call these Houston suburbs, but they're pretty far out, as you can see. Um, they're quite far outside of town. So if you want that proximity to the coast, you're gonna wanna probably be over here on the south side. Now, I will say this, there's two major airports here in Houston. Let me show you where both of those are. You've got Bush Intercontinental Airport, which is up here on the northeast side of Houston. It makes living up on the northern suburbs very convenient. I'm about 30 minutes away from the airport, being all the way up here in Conroe. I'm right here, I hop on the freeway, and you actually have two ways to get to the airport here. You have I-45, but then you also have the Hardy Toll Road, which if you're commuting in and out of downtown, it's gonna give you two major thoroughfares in and out of downtown as well. But being able to get over to the airport, um, one of the two airports being on the north side, it makes it a lot more convenient. Um, the other airport, the smaller of the two airports is gonna be Hobby Airport. As you see, Hobby's over here on the south side. So if you live in Pearland, you're like a 15 minute drive to the airport. It is not bad at all. Now, not all the airlines fly out of Hobby. Uh, Southwest, their hub is out of Hobby. They've got some flights going out of Bush, but the main is gonna be Hobby. But what I wanna point out is that both of these airports are on the east side of town. And so one's on the northeast side, one's on the southeast side. So if you do live over in Katy and you're needing to commute for work a lot via airplane, uh, you're gonna be about an hour away from the airports. So I'll just plug that in and show you what that looks like. If you wanna get over to Bush, uh, 53 minutes, and that's without, or sorry, over to Hobby, but that's 53 minutes without traffic. And then if you wanna get over to Bush Intercontinental, uh, once again, you know, with traffic about 53 minutes. So those are things you're going to want to consider. Now, far as suburbs go, they all are gonna have their own unique flair to them. But one thing that you'll find is that for the most part, all of them are gonna offer the same level of shopping. Uh, if you're down here in Pearland, they've got a fantastic town center with tons of great shopping. It's actually located over here, but um, they've got tons of great shopping, but you're gonna have these massive, and I mean massive, um, you know, town centers in pretty much every suburb. You've got uh, your large, you know, big box grocery stores like HEB, which is probably the best Texas grocery store. We say that in a lot of our videos, but it's true. Um, things like Home Depot. Uh, you're gonna have access to all these in pretty much every single suburb. Let me just give you an example, actually. So Home Depot, right? It's a bigger store. Let's just see where they're at all over Houston. And what you'll notice is they're everywhere. They're in all of the suburbs. So whether or not you live down here in League City, whether or not you live in Pearland, Sugarland, Katy, Cypress, Tomball, the Woodlands, even Conroe up over here, one will pop up. They're everywhere. So you have access in all of these suburbs to shopping. And so at the end of the day, I wouldn't be concerned as to whether or not one suburb offers you know, more of your daily necessities than the other. At the end of the day, all of these suburbs for the most part, um, now now that developments further further along are going to offer the same stuff. Where you get into some of the differences in, in some of the, the higher end suburbs, you are gonna get more options. You're gonna get more fine dining, you're gonna get more entertainment options. And so if you were wondering, you know, what are the top kind of five big suburbs in Houston? And I haven't planned this out, by the way, this is just off the top of my head, but I would say the ones that probably offer the most are going to be Katy, Katy definitely is more robust than a lot. They're gonna have more shopping. They've got the Katy Mills Mall. Um, but Katy has uh, La Sentera, which is over in Cinco Ranch. And that's gonna be kind of like an outdoor fine dining area. The Woodlands is also, I would say, probably takes the cake for having the most to offer. So whenever you pop over here to the Woodlands, they just have a lot. They've got the waterway, which is going to uh, give you kind of nightlife. It's one of the few suburbs that I would say actually has uh, its own set of nightlife. You can see here, I mean, it's gorgeous. Um, and it's really well kept. There's also a lot of corporations up in the woodlands, so it's just a little bit bigger, more robust of a suburb. Um, they're going to have Market Street in the woodlands, which is gonna be like the turf area where the kids play with your Louis Vuittons, your Rolex stores. Um, so it's definitely gonna have that higher end appeal to it. Um, then you're also gonna have the Lake Woodlands with Hughes Landing, it's gonna have more dining. So the Woodlands is gonna win, as far as entertainment options too, the Woodlands is gonna have the Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion, which is a 16,000 person amphitheater that is, is constantly putting on concerts with top artists 
uh, from around the world. It's not some dinky little amphitheater. It's where a lot of artists that come to Houston, they actually go up to the woodlands to play. You're gonna see that, that's two of them. I will say this, where I live here in Conroe, Conroe is definitely um, one of the more robust suburbs now. And part of it is because it, you still have access to everything the Woodlands has to offer, um, but Conroe is very much its own thing. You can see here, it's got its own loop running around the town. This is a, a clear map version. But you also have access to Lake Conroe, and Lake Conroe is a 20,000 acre boatable lake um, that you can live at year round or just get a weekend home out there. But if you zoom out, there's really not a ton of lakes here around the Houston area to explore. And so you're going to end up finding yourself going up to Lake Conroe pretty much no matter where you live in Houston um, to go and enjoy the lake here during the summers. Now, other suburbs that I would say are up there, Cypress has a ton to offer. They've got the Cypress outlets. That's going to be where a lot of your shopping's done. And right here along Highway 290, where those outlets are, let me just plug them in. Um, it's one of the longest shopping centers that I have quite literally ever seen. This shopping center here is like miles long. It's insane. It's one of the better shopping uh, centers that we've seen anywhere in and around the Houston area. So Cypress is going to be packed with uh, options as well. But even, uh, you know, even like I said, Friendswood, Pearland, they're going to have their own nice kind of downtown shopping areas. And then Sugarland, probably next to the Woodlands, um, I would argue over near First Colony Mall is going to have um, like the largest town center. So it's got, you know, four story buildings, hotels, convention centers, tons of, you know, fine dining, shopping, bars, restaurants. Uh, and it's just a really clean, classy area. And so you really can't go wrong there. So typically when clients are calling us and they're wondering, you know, where should we move in the Houston area? We can actually narrow it down with a couple of quick questions. Uh, a lot of times they've seen some of the videos that we watch or that we've put out. And that's what I recommend you do is after you hop off this, go look at our other videos. Go look at our video on the Woodlands, on Conroe, on Katy, Cypress, Friendswood. We've got them on all of them, Sugarland, uh, and And see the differences because visually, it's just gonna click with you. Like I said, most of them offer pretty good public school systems. Most of them have master plan communities um, somewhere within them. Some have more than others. You know, Katy and Cyprus uh, are gonna have, you know, quite a few master plan communities. Whereas, you know, Conroe really has, you know, two or three major master plan communities. So some will have more than others, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, just asking a simple question, like, do you want trees? Well, if the answer is yes, you have to have them and you want to back up to some kind of green space, then you're probably going to be on the north side of town. And it's really that simple. If you want close proximity to the coast or you want to be closer into downtown, those are going to be the factors that ultimately we're going to use to help point you in the right direction to see what suburbs best for you. But what I really want to highlight in this video is that for the most part, if you're looking at, if you're talking good schools, if you're talking safety, if you're talking convenient amenities, um, all of those are going to be offered right here along the outskirts, along Highway 99, uh, and then even further up north. Even as far out, you know, we cover all the way out to Montgomery, Plannersville, Navasota. So we've got a team of over 20 plus agents. And so we have geographic competencies in all of these areas. So if you do reach out to us and you haven't narrowed it down yet, that's totally fine. All of our agents are actually trained in helping ask you the right questions to narrow it down. And a lot of our clients will come in on a two or three day trip thinking that that, uh, you know, you know, there, there's no way they're going to narrow it down on day one and then day three comes around and they've already found exactly where it is that they want to live. And so by asking the right few sets of questions, um, we're going to be able to help get you in the perfect place. So now that we've covered the overview of Houston, highly recommend go check out some of our other videos. We've got them on all of the other uh, suburbs here in Houston. And like we always say, if you are looking to move to Houston, Texas, don't be shy. Just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas.